Stride is the first liquid staking protocol in the Cosmos ecosystem. Its main perk is that it supports inter-blockchain communication. In other words, it means that it supports multiple chains. Let's start with what liquid staking is. At the moment, to earn your yield, you choose one of the two options. Either DeFi tools, you do your trading on there, it's a bit risky, but you're likely to get from 10 to 20% yield, if you're sensible. Or you can do staking, which is less risky, however, you lock your assets and you cannot use them. What liquid staking allows you to do is to combine the two together. So while staking your tokens, you get a derivative token for that. So that's a wrapped asset. For example, let's say in Cosmos, you stake Atom, you get ST Atom in return. You can then trade that ST Atom freely and use all the DeFi tools and earn additional yield from your DeFi activity. When you deposit your tokens on Stride from any of the chains in Cosmos, Stride takes care of staking for you. So they pick the validators, they do all of that, and you can choose your own risk tolerance. And in return, you get the ST wrapped tokens. With ST wrapped tokens, you go and freely trade it in the Cosmos ecosystem. The main concern here from my side is how liquid the ST tokens are actually going to be. In the perfect world, of course, the whole Cosmos ecosystem accepts the ST wrapped tokens just like they would be the original ones. You can freely trade them among the full system and across DEXs and use any DeFi tools. However, it might not be the case, and adoption is a crucial element here. Stride is launching its mainnet in about a week from now, that's very soon, and at launch they are going to have four incentivized osmosis pools. Those will be the ST token, that is the original token of Stride, Juno, Osmos, and Atom. By the end of the year, they are planning to have on board 15 major Cosmos chains. I will leave them on the screen and also leave the link to the article where they describe their future path. However, again, at launch only four. With each new chain added onto Stride, they're having an airdrop of ST tokens onto that chain. So we already had three airdrops, actually three snapshots for airdrops because the actual putting of money into your wallet is happening at the mainnet launch. And we're going to have about 12 more by the end of the year if we're planning to have 15 chains. Overall, 6.3% of tokens are allocated for the airdrops. Some would be for the Genesis supply and some for the further onboarding of chains. And what is known about the tokenomics is the total token supply. So the total token supply is 100 million tokens. 6.3% or 6.3 million tokens are going to be airdropped. And at Genesis, you're going to have 20 million tokens available. Stride as a company is rather new. It was just established in March of 2022, so it hasn't yet had much marketing around it. However, you're likely to hear more because they recently held a seed round for $6.7 million. There were three lead investors, North Island Venture Capital, Distributed Global and Pantera Capital. And there is also participation from the validators from the Cosmos ecosystem. Those are the Imperator, the Cosmos Station, the Everstake and staking facilities. And all of them are also validators for Stride. And there are also other investors which are not the Cosmos uh, ecosystem. So the first confirmation, Cerulean Ventures, Node Venture Capital, PQ's Capital, and Road Capital. So a lot of capitals in there. Before the mainnet launch, the developers want to make sure two things. They are quite broad, but of course they do make sense. Security, the whole company has already been audited by two leading auditing companies, that is Certic and Oak Security. And the second point is user experience because there is a potential for liquid staking to be the first thing that users do when they come to DeFi. At the moment, Stride is running its forced testnet. It is incentivized and there are four groups of tasks, so everybody can find whatever suits them. There are community tasks, they are quite easy, for example, testing out the product or answering questions on Discord. There are some developer tasks which are more complex, there are validator tasks as well and relayer tasks. I'm going to leave the link with all the tasks available in the description. If you want to be the first one to learn about any Stride bounties or incentivized programs, I would recommend to first join their Twitter. And the second point of reference is Discord, of course, just like for any other crypto project, Discord is very important. But that was it I wanted to tell you about Stride from my side. If you have any questions or any remarks or etc, my comments are open. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.